Hey team, welcome to the Step Outside YouTube cooking channel. If you want to see more cooking just like this, like and subscribe. Hello everybody, welcome to my outdoor kitchen. Today I'm cooking up a very simple dish called ceviche. It's a dish that's traditionally from areas such as Central and South America, and it has made its way across the Pacific to some of those beautiful South Pacific islands from Fiji, Samoa, of course, Vanuatu, New Guinea, the list goes on. So first things first, I've got my fish here. This one is the marlin. Uh, these are caught obviously throughout the entire world, cold and warm water. Uh, this is a black marlin, it's a fantastic fish. Uh, generally not marketed as a saleable fish, generally only uh, striped marlin is, but nonetheless, uh, if you catch one yourself, uh, they are absolutely stunning. So all I'm gonna do here is cut it up into small chunks. You can make thin strips if you like, but obviously the thinner the strips are, the less time it takes to so-called cook. So we're just gonna cut him up like so, and then I'm gonna cut that into small dices as well. A Little bit too big, I mean, a lot of people would eat that at that size, but I just wanna make it a little bit thinner. So there we have it, just nice chunks, beautiful. You can pick it up with chopsticks, finger, fork, whatever you like. From here, I'm gonna put it into my bowl. Because we're not using heat, I'm using an acid, a natural acid. And this acid comes from a lime, or even a lemon would work quite well as well. So all I'm going to do here is just squeeze that lemon or lime over the fish. That's going to work perfectly. What you want to do here now, once it's fully coated like so, just swirl it around like that. And so it's all coated now. That'll slowly go white, which is perfect. I'm going to put a bit of glad wrap over it because we want to keep all of that moisture in there. We don't want it to go away. Now I'm going to leave that in my esky for about an hour or a little bit more. I'll check it around that time. It's got to go white. So it's already started to, to cook through from the acid of that fruit. So we'll give that a crack and come back and check it shortly. With the ceviche now, I'm going to prepare the added ingredients that I want to put with it as well. So I've got myself just a simple tomato and you want to make it chunky. You don't want to go too small on the dices. You want to, you want to have something to, to bite on, if you know what I mean. So just nice big chunks like so. That's enough. I don't want to go too much more than that. In here goes that. Now I've also got some garlic. I don't mind a bit of garlic. Just chop that up nicely, thin, in with our tomatoes. There we go. Bit of onion. I like to have my onion in fairly decent chunks, actually. I don't like to go too thin on this. You don't want to use brown onion. You'll find uh, the cooking onion, traditional cooking onion, uh, doesn't have that nice kind of sweetness as a red onion does. So this herb would have to be one of the tastiest herbs on the planet. Now, there's a few people out there that don't have the fortunate gene of enjoying coriander. You're probably looking at this going, ah, it tastes like soap, but hey, I love it, man. This is, this is so cool. So I like to get my coriander, nice and chunky like so, and that goes into the dish. From here, we're nearly ready to add our fish. Let's go and check on it. There we go. It's looking and smelling absolutely divine. So all I do here is I just spoon out a little bit of fish like so add a little bit of that juice. And from here, we just mix it around, get that onion going, get that garlic going, get everything moving through that dish. That's, that's pretty much the meal. There's nothing else to it. So it's very simple. It's very unique, but it packs a lot of freshness, a lot of fresh flavors. You can imagine you've got your red onion, you've got your garlic, which I can smell amazingly there. I've got that tomato. I've also just got the juices of some lime and lemon and that fresh fish. And I just pull that out, find a nice bit of fish that's got plenty of flavor with it. Absolutely beautiful. It doesn't get any fresher than that. Now here's some tips to perfect ceviche. Firm, fresh fish flesh, something that holds together when it's in slivers or in cubes. Coat it with fresh lime juice, not a lot, just enough. Cover it for about an hour at least and refrigerate. Now in a separate bowl, dice up tomato, garlic, red onion, and coriander. Add the marinated fish with lime juice, mix it together, and enjoy. 
It's that simple. Hey team, thanks for watching our Step Outside YouTube cooking channel. All you have to do is like, comment and subscribe to keep up to date with what we're doing to showcase to you guys.